<laughs> Whoa. Today I'll be teaching you how to create an alternative power button for the ZTZ Max Z970. I am doing this video because I know how hard it is to find the parts online. And by the way, this is a live video, it is not a voiceover. I actually do speak like this. Let's get started. What you want to do is disassemble your ZTZ Max. If you want to learn how, I have videos somewhere on this screen. Now, since I'm starting here, you remove the mid frame. Next step, remove the digitizer flex cable by pulling up this latch right here and pulling out the ribbon cable. Disconnect this terminal right here. That's for phone signal. You're also gonna wanna disconnect the battery. To do that, I would have to pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the battery has been disconnected, what you wanna do is flip over your motherboard to access the two terminals that leads to the power button. Here's a few tips for soldering. Tint your iron tip so that the solder melts faster when you make contact. Apply heat to the component you're soldering before attempting to join them. If you don't practice proper soldering techniques, you'll find yourself very frustrated with the end results. Be sure to retain the spacing between the two solder points or else your device will constantly reboot itself. Place the motherboard back into the chassis of the phone. Reconnect the LCD and touch button's ribbon cable. Now finish them off by closing the latches. Repeat the same process for the digitizer. Do not reassemble your device unless you've tested it and are satisfied with the results. To turn the phone on, connect the tip of the two wires together until the phone vibrates. To wake up and lock the phone, simply touch the wires together for half a second. That's pretty much it guys. Be sure to share this video because I said so. Like because I said so. Don't bother subscribing because I don't want to see your smug ass back here again. Anyways guys, it's been GD here from Get Fixed and I'm out. Peace.